Welcome to this month's edition of OSU Extension Monthly. I don't know where the time has gone, but we are actually uh, almost in the middle, well, we are in the middle of the month of July. And today I want to talk to you about something that I'm pretty excited about that's going to be coming up, and that is our Panhandle Exposition, our Texas County Fair. The dates for the fair this year are August the 7th through the 10th, which is earlier than normal for us to have a fair, and hopefully this will work for people and you will be able to come out and strut your stuff, which is the theme for the fair. This is the 102nd Annual Panhandle Exposition, and it's time for you to strut your stuff. There's animals, uh, kid, pedal, power tractor pull, quilts, uh, food, pies, art, you name it, it is at the fair. And this is gonna be your call to action to come out to the county fair. Um, this theme was picked because it was one that Eva Mooseman, who was our former fair secretary, uh, wanted to always do for the fair. And so now we're getting to use that theme and the call is out there for everyone in the panhandle to strut your stuff. That way it uh, makes her memory uh, something that we can remember from. Um, there will be a return of the homemade chicken noodles in the concession stand and I know lots of people really like those. So we were able to get a concessionaire that will provide those for us. So we're pretty excited about that. So I kind of want to go through the fair book. I haven't gotten an official fair book brought to me yet or picked up yet but they are online and you can go to texascountyfair.org and the fair books are online. Uh, I printed them off yesterday so uh, you can find them online now for the 2019 fair. So um, you know the fair is only possible because there's individuals who have been elected to the Texas County Fair Board and the fair board members are uh, Kelly Keelan who is our president uh, Heidi Nunley, who is our Vice President, David Thrasher is the Treasurer, and myself, Arlene James, is the Secretary. The other Board of Directors include Jason Hitch from Guyman, Mark Landis from Guyman, Sharon Wilson from Goodwell, Nick Dietrich from Hooker, John Lynch from Hooker. And the staff for the fair is Rocky Richardson, who is the manager of the fairground, and Pam Hill, who has the title of fair secretary. So these individuals are the ones who uh, have meetings and plan, and, and along, I mean, all of those individuals plan our county fair. We cannot have a fair book, and we cannot have a fair without the great sponsorship that people in this community provide to the fair. So as I go through things today, I'm going to mention a few of those and I apologize up front if you were an advertiser and I don't get to mention you today. So one of our um, advertisers is Great American Ford and um, they have a big ad in the paper or in our fair book, not the paper, in our fair book. So, uh, you know, that without them we could not do it. We've had questions here in the extension office in regard to pre-entry. Those are due prior to August 1st. But let me assure you that if you bring something on August the 6th, um, guess what? We are going to let you enter it in the fair. You can download an entry form and it too is at texascountyfair.org and no one will be turned away on entry day. So bring your thing, even if you haven't pre-entered. The purpose of the pre-enter is that it helps our fair secretary, Pam, to get tags ready, which in, then helps you not to have to wait so long when you bring your entries to the fair because the tags are already prepared for you. And that's the only purpose for the pre-entry. It does not mean that if you don't pre-enter that you cannot 
come to the fair. PTCI is a great sponsor of uh, our Texas County Fair, and we certainly do appreciate each and every one of those. So as I kind of go through the fair book, I'm just going to mention some activities and events and things that will be going on at the fair so that you can make plans to attend. Each year at the fair, we have an antique tractor pull and machinery show. Uh, what you can see there is some rare and unusual tractors. That event takes place on Saturday, August the 10th at 6 p.m. Uh, it's free, admission, there's no charge to come see it. And we do have the requirement that the tractors have to be 1959 model or older, and they have to have a current weight ticket. And the people that are kind of in charge of that are Albert and uh, Gory Wall and Curtis Rain. So if you have questions, you can contact those people. Uh, I've been to the tractor pull and the machinery show. If you've never seen it, it's something to go watch. And I, I would very much encourage you to do that. We still have some Centennial cookbooks that you can purchase. So if you didn't get one back two years ago, uh, there are still some of those cookbooks available. And they will be available in the fair office for $10 a piece. Okay, as I said, I'm just going to kind of whip through some of these pages here. Uh, the fair does officially open on uh, Wednesday at 6 p.m. And that's when all of our commercial exhibits will be uh, set up and ready to go for you to watch. So, um, you know, just come and uh, on Wednesday they will have an opening ceremony. The Chamber of Commerce will be there. Uh, they will have a ribbon cutting and some other activities. Brand new this year is that the Livestock Judging Contest will be held on Wednesday. Traditionally, it's been on Saturday, but um, the people that are in charge this year decided that we needed to move it to Wednesday before the fair. So uh, I believe that's going to start at 1 o'clock. I will have to double check on that. But um, So if you've got FFA and 4-H kids that want to do livestock judging, just know that the contest will be on Wednesday prior to the grand opening of the fair. Wednesday is judging day and each department in the fair have selected their judges. And you know, when we select a judge for the fair, we try to find those individuals who understand fair standards and understand uh, what they need to be looking for. So sometimes if you don't get that blue ribbon, there was probably a reason for it. And you certainly can check with the um, superintendent. They may be able to tell you what the judge liked or didn't like about something. And certainly from the Extension Service, uh, we are available and willing to help um, you understand what your placing might be. So uh, the grand opening, as I said, will be at 6 p.m. on Wednesday, August the 7th. Also on Wednesday, August the 7th, will be our uh, annual, and it'll be the third annual. Let me see if I can find that page on that. It'll be the third annual Farmhand Olympics contest. And this is a contest that is open to FFA and 4-H members and also adults. And uh, there's prizes, cash prizes. Uh, Linda Hill has traditionally sponsored those. Uh, prizes for the Farmhand Olympics. It will also begin at 6 o'clock in the arena at the fairground. And we have lots of activities and I was looking for that page and I'll come across it and, and tell you, but we have about five or six activities that we do in this. Um, the adults do it for bragging rights and the uh, youth, uh, as I said, will get some cash awards. So uh, those are things that will be happening on the first day of the fair. The fair closes that day at 9 p.m. We will also have the swine show on Wednesday for those who show pigs. And let me see, that entry time for the swine and the swine carcass contest is from 3 to 5. And then uh, the swine judging is at 6.30 and the on-foot 
of swine carcass contest will immediately follow the swine judging contest. So uh, if you've got pigs and you'd like to show them now, anyone can show in the fair. You don't have to be an FFA or a 4-H member, although traditionally that is who we have, but you know, others can bring livestock to the fair. On Thursday is our meat goat show. Our superintendent for that is that Steve Creech, and he used to be a ag educator for the OSU Extension Service. So we've got someone in place there that will do a fantastic job with the goat show. Um, also at four on that Thursday, it will be the 4-H Cupcake War. Now the Cupcake War is where the kids start with three what we call naked cupcakes. That means they have no frosting or icing on them. And then during the contest, they have to decorate the three cupcakes that they have. And then they're judged on, of course, their teamwork, their cooperation, their uh, what they've done and how well they've done with their decorating. Last year was the first year for that event and we had several teams. So we look forward to having even more teams for that and that is for 4-H members only. Also on Thursday is the uh, Perky Veggie Contest, and that's a contest we've had at the fair for many, many years. Uh, we appreciate those volunteers who come in and conduct that contest. The kids come in and they decorate vegetables and uh, make them look like other things. And uh, if you've ever been out to the fair, they're pretty cool creations that these kids can make. So come on out and check them out. We also will have the kids pedal power tractor pull contest. That's been a very popular contest at our fair. It is for younger kids. Um, and they can have the opportunity to go on to the, and compete at the State Fair of Oklahoma if they're winners here at our county fair. And we appreciate Phyllis and Tom Stevens for their help in making sure that that contest is done each year and done well, and it will be done well. Also at 6.30 on that Thursday, uh, we will have the 4-H and FFA quiz bowl. Now, the quiz bowl is ran just like a quiz bowl, but the questions are all ag-related. And so um, all FFA teams across the area, our 4-H clubs across the area, are welcome to have a team and come out to the um, quiz bowl contest. And there's prizes given for that as well. Um, all animals will be released following the judging. So if I realize that some people like to see the animals when they come to the fair, but because our fair is in August and because it is so hot during our fair as a general rule, uh, we go ahead and release the animals so that the project that these kids have uh, and they're taking on to other contests that uh, they don't stress their animals out too much at our county fair. Friday is another big day from 10 to 12 in the arena, we are going to have a kid cowboy boot camp. Uh, it is for kids ages five and up to 12. So bring your kiddos out to that. Uh, we'll have some games and activities and do some crafts and even have some hot dogs to eat. So this is something a little bit different than we've done in the past. Typically on kid day, the schools bring their children to the fair and they go through the exhibit buildings and look at all of the things that they're at the fair. But because school will not have started this year, we're going to um, have this camp that Friday morning. So that's 10 to 12 on Friday, August the 9th. The uh, sheep show will also go on uh, on Friday. The entry for the sheep is from three to five and the judging will be at six o'clock. Also at six o'clock over in the domestic science department, you're encouraged to bring your fresh salsa for a salsa contest. And you need to bring enough for the judges to eat and, and maybe a little to share with the, the crowd if you would like. Uh, we will have uh, tortilla chips there for the judges and for others to taste your salsa. 
Now these can be fruit sauces, they can be vegetable sauces, it can be pico de gallo. Um, those are the three categories that we have for this first ever salsa contest. So that, that's new and I hope you'll come out and participate in that because when you come and participate then that lets the fair board know that yes this is something that we want at our county fair. Okay, Saturday is our entry begin at 7 a.m. for our beef show and our bucket calf show. Something new we are going to have this year at our uh, fair is the farmer's market. It will begin at 8 a.m. and run until uh, probably around noon uh, unless they sell out before that. The farmer's market will not be held on Main Street in front of the courthouse on that Saturday, August the 10th. They will be moving out to the fairground. And we encourage you, if you have a garden, if you like to bake, uh, if you produce things that uh, you want to sell, uh, that you will bring, come out and set up a booth. If you're going to be there, we would like for you to let Rocky or Pam know out at the fairground that you plan to be there so that we can make sure that we have uh, adequate space, but you will need to be responsible for bringing your own tables. Now I will say if you don't have a table, if you'll let me know here in the extension office at 338-7300, I will make sure that some tables are out there for you. The fair officially opens at 10 a.m. on that Saturday with our cattle show, and that will be in the arena. Uh, they will also have a Panhandle Classic, which is uh, a, a jackpot type show that will take place after the cattle show. At 11 on that Saturday, we'll have the Great All-American Turtle Race. So if you've seen some terrapins out crawling around in your pastures or on the road or whatever, uh, take, pick them up and bring them to the race. Uh, if you've never been to a turtle race, it's a fun, fun thing to do. I remember it fondly from being a child when we would go to turtle races. And of course, we always look for our terrapins. And it, they're really terrapins, they're not turtles, but <sighs> turtles a little easier to say. <laughs> Um, and then at noon that day, we will have our Tots and Pets contest, and this is open to anyone. Uh, children, I guess, it's not adults, but children. And you bring out your pet, you kind of dress them up or uh, show them off, and you answer questions from the judge, and then prizes are awarded for that. I did see in the fair book where the Landis Farm family is going to be sponsoring that, and we certainly appreciate them. At 1.30 on Saturday, is uh, in, we'll take entries for the pie contest. I've been fortunate to judge the pie contest at the county fair in the past, and we have some wonderful bakers here in Texas County that can make some wonderful pies. So bake that pie and bring it to the pie contest. And that entry begin at 1.30 and the judging is at 2. Also, um, let me see. The poultry and the rabbit, uh, Lee, Lee and um, Little Joe, Joe Lindsay, are, um, in, not Little Joe, but Joe Lindsay, are in charge of the uh, poultry and the rabbit department at our fair this year and uh, we appreciate them taking that over because we were in need of someone for that area and um, they will re be releasing those animals uh, early like at five but all of the other exhibits other than the animals which do are released as soon as the judging is over but all of the entries in the main activity center will be released at 7 p.m. And that is between 7 and 8. The fair will have uh, two events that will not be held during the week of, of the fair, August 7th and through the 10th. And one of those is on August the 3rd, which is a Saturday uh, in Hooker at the shooting range that they have there. Uh, the 4-H will do a shooting sports contest 
We've added two more disciplines to that contest this year. So if, you, if the 4-H'ers have to be trained and certified and then they can participate and they have to be enrolled in 4-H to do this activity. But um, uh, air rifle, 22, and archery will be the three disciplines that will be done. So it is in Hooker and so we hope that you will come out and see what the kids are doing there because it's pretty cool. Uh, also on Sunday, August the 1st, will be the County Fair Horse Show. Uh, it is an open horse show, so that means anyone can come to that horse show. It will be at the K-Bar S Ranch Arena, which is located at 4323 Road P in Hooker. Julie uh, Ball is in charge, or the superintendent for our horse show this year, and this is her arena where that, uh, that contest will take place. And of course, then by Saturday, the fair is all over and we are all tired. It's a wonderful week. There, you know, there's people who don't really understand the fair and the purpose of the fair. We've had the fair, like this will be our 102nd county fair here in Texas County. The fair has always been a, a venue or an avenue for someone to strut their stuff, show what they can do. And so our theme is very appropriate for this year's fair, and we hope that you will come out. You may notice on the fair book, uh, fair book cover, we have a rooster. So I have my little friend here who is, um, I'm hoping he'll be out at the fair, and maybe we can do some pictures with him or something like that. So uh, stretch your stuff, bring it to the Texas County Fair, uh, see what if you can win a blue ribbon. Another thing that will be going on at the Texas County Fair is that our Texas County Master Gardeners, get that in front, out from in front of my face, but the Texas County Master Gardeners plan to be out there at various times. Uh, we don't have that schedule set up yet, but they are gonna be in the flower department and the ag department wearing these really bright orange shirts that you see here and you are gonna be able to ask them questions that they will be able to answer on how to grow flowers, what works well here in Texas County, uh, you know, how to grow your garden, or how to make a garden, or anything that relates to gardening, or which is flowers and vegetables, so, uh, or fruit trees even. They will have what we call some fact sheets, some information that they will hand out to you, and they will be there to answer your question. Our master gardeners for this year are um, Dr. Kenneth Stelter and his wife, Vicki Stelter. Uh, I'm trying to remember off the top of my head here. The Helm family, Hugh and Anita, Kayla, uh, Rachel Scott and her husband, Dennis. Uh, Lourdes Aguilar, Erica, uh, Erica Valquez, uh, Diana Brown, I'm probably leaving somebody out, Laura Shields, uh, John Smith, Lori Laird is also a master gardener, uh, Lisa Anderson, David Watson, so uh, those are the individuals that will be out at the fair in the bright, bright orange shirt that the Texas County Master Gardeners on the back. And Master Gardeners is a program of the Texas County OSU Extension. These people have gone through their training and so they are ready to be out there and to answer your question. There's been some questions in our office in regard to the wheat show. Uh, let me see. See, you can only enter one variety grown on any one farm. And um, so the, we, wheat production has been very good to us here in Texas County. So we're hoping to see a lot of entries in the wheat show. Let me see what else we have. TC, EC is one of our great sponsors and we appreciate them as Ritter's Water Well Service. Um, 
I'm seeing here by the Tots and Pets contest that you can't have horses or cattle. So small animals, small companion type animals are what we have. Another thing I didn't talk about in this open class is let's make a quilt block contest. Uh, those are entered on Tuesday, on entry day, and then they're judged and there's prizes for for the best quilt block. So you don't have to make a big quilt, you can just make a block and bring to that contest. Seaboard Foods is one of our sponsors. Uh, the carnival will be here, it was from Pride of Texas, so uh, you'll want to check that out for sure. I've talked about those things, I've talked about those. Um, Tail Oil and Gas is one of our great sponsors. If I don't mention you, I'm not leaving you out intentionally. It's just that I won't have time to mention everybody. So um, KGYN and KKBS, a radio station. And did you know you can bring pigeons to the fair? Some people do raise pigeons and, and we have a category for that. If you raise chickens, you can bring your eggs. Colored, white, brown, it doesn't matter. We have a category for that. Um, I really would like to encourage each and every one of you to come out to the Texas County Fair. Enter something. Stretch your, stretch your stuff. Boy, I have a hard time saying that. Strut your stuff and bring it to the fair. And I hope to see each and every one of you out at our Texas County Fair this year. A lot of hard work goes into putting in a fair and we do it for you. So we hope that you will be kind enough to come out and visit us. So I think we've got something for everyone. If not, let us know and we'll see what we can do in the future. But right now, the 2019 Texas County Fair is upon us. It will be here in two or three weeks. And uh, hopefully you've got, been working on things to bring to the fair. If not, get busy. And I will see you out at the fair as you strut your stuff.